I'm Nicholas George. And I'm Kevin Mack. We're here seeking $75,000 for 10% equity in our business, Tick Pick, the pick that sticks. Now, before we get down to business, I'm sure you're asking yourselves, what exactly is a Tick Pick? So, Kevin, I was thinking maybe you could sing them a little song. Well, hey there, sharks. I like playing guitar, but I'm always losing picks in them honky-tonk bars. Don't worry, y'all. I got the fix. All you really need is a pack of Tick Picks. See, before Tick Picks, I put picks in my mouth. I drop them on the floor. I lose them in the couch. No one ever made a pick Kevin Matt couldn't lose. But with Tick Pick, that's hard to do. See, Tick Pick has a real good grip, and it feels mighty fine on your fingertips. Just put them on your guitar, and they'll stay till you want to pick them up, and you're ready to play with Tick Pick. Tick Pick. The only pick that sticks. Tick Pick. Tick Pick. For $29.95, that'll get you six. Yeah, good job. All right, I love it, love it. Uh, $29.95 for six of them. Uh, that is not a bad deal if you're not going to lose them. Anyway, welcome back to the Sue, <laughs> the Joe Pardo show. Uh, we This Shark Tank breakdown, I feel like as it gets later, my brain is just scrambled. Um, <laughs> we break down Shark Tank uh, pitches here on the channel, and uh, today we have Tick Pick, which uh, is... 75,000 for 10 percent this seems like th this should be a no-brainer kevin should be all over this or robert i think robert did at least one of the guitar uh based um deals but i i, I want to say Ke i mean kevin is the guitar player for sure so uh 75,000 10 percent should should be n shouldn't even be a you know a, a thought in his mind but you never know uh, anyway, we're going to check out their website, social media at the end of this, as well as feature one of your comments from down below, uh, at the end of this video, down below in the super community. Sorry. I, again, my brain is getting, getting scrambled here. You guys, thank you. Sharks, we have some samples out in front of you. You guys can all put them on the guitar, see how they stick. Kevin, play something for us. Well, Kevin, if you want, I got that electric sitting up there. If you want to plug that in. This is actually the only thing that Kevin is let's decent do the electric. at. Let's do the yeah. electric. Okay, yeah. let's do it. Let's do it, Kev. <laughs> Give me some there you go, the stew blues me. Like one of the only times they'll be che they cheer for Kevin, uh, and kind of rightfully so. But you know, uh, he is uh, he is a guitar player. So I I mean, if they can't get a deal with him, I don't I don't think they're gonna be able to get a deal with anybody. Uh, so having a tick that uh, a tick a pick that sticks to your uh, I love the name by the way. That's such a great like uh, was it illusion or um uh yeah what's the word I can't think of the word I'm looking for uh. That, that it's such a great it's such a great uh term and and uh picture of a tick you know to to stick to the the side of the guitar i can't believe anybody hasn't thought of this before now what i'm curious about though is uh how how difficult is to use the pick when it is it sticking to your fingers at the same time how long is it staying stuck to the guitar how many times can you take it on and take it off how hard is it to get on and off the guitar all those little things i mean yeah it works as a pick which is great did he feel like it was sticking to the chords at all uh as he's as he's strumming it i, I i'm not a guitar player i i've tried a few a few times just not not quite my thing uh unfortunately Oh, yeah. Great job! Yeah, good job. So Kevin was playing one of our guitar picks. What do you think, Kevin? So how do players feel about the the, the raised pod of yeah. of silicone or whatever that is? First off, I've been a guitar player for 25 years. I make a good living being a professional musician. I had a guy who brought me this pick, one of our partners, and he was telling me about this pick with a grip on it. I didn't care. When he handed it to me, I lost my mind because... The thing is, picks that are in the industry now, they don't have a grip. People are dropping picks. If a pick company tries to put a grip on a pick, it's not comfortable. So that's what I liked about it. Then he 
stuck it to my guitar, and I about passed out. I told him, <laughs> I said, you've missed it. The grip is great. Sticking to my guitar with no adhesive or residue or stickiness, I no, said, that's, that's the key. Home There's run. no residue on a good axe. None. Athlete. What about the sweat? Does it take away the stick fact? No, it does not. No. You can drop it in the dirt and pick it up. It'll get dirty and rinse it in water, and it's brand new. What's your background? I got a crazy story, man. <laughs> I used to work back in Virginia Beach with a lot of hip-hop artists who were from Virginia Beach who helped me get into the studio and learn the studio, which I played a hip country would music be, at. Would a, that be Timbaland and those guys? Yeah, so Timbaland and Missy Elliott and Teddy Riley. Then I played shows with them. Met a guy, a big producer. He was like, Kevin Mack, you're dope. You're great. Moved to Nashville. Here's a publishing deal. My wife moved back in with her parents. I got in the truck, moved to Nashville, slept on a couch for two years. And my wow. wife believed in me for it. Man, I said, so Laura, I'm going to cry on this show. <laughs> Aww. She's going to kill me. But she, she believes in me so much. And she, I said, give me two years. Let me give it a swing. I don't want to be 70 years old going, what if, right? And I said, but if it works out, you come to Nashville. And we've been there for eight years. And we got a three-year-old little boy out Good there. Good for you. And through the community I built there, record producer who's done so much for me, his name's Keith Tagal. And that's how I met Nick. You can tell him. So I was born and raised in the Cayman Islands. All right, hold on. Before we get to the Cayman Islands, that's like, yeah, exactly, Robert. Um, th that is incredible. Look, when you have somebody who believes in you, uh, family member, friends, uh, super community members, you know, that, that, uh, that can go so far for you. And... To have people that that you can put around you. I mean, we've heard this story so many times with people, especially in the music industry, because it doesn't it does not happen overnight, right? Overnight success takes like seven years to ten years, um, and and it, sometimes it's just about being in the right place at the right time, meeting the right people, having the right attitude, right, and the right um, commitment to the people that you're you're trying to work with to uh to open up more doors and and while i have quite a few friends that are in the music industry um and while i love djing I'm, my my dj you know turntables are right here off to the left left of me um it you know it just never ended up being a thing that i wanted to to pursue at that level when uh i just had other opportunities in front of me so to take that opportunity um, to have already and, and already be like committed and married and, and make that commitment to say, hey, let's uh, let's let's put our marriage effectively on hold for two years and, and see where this goes. That's uh, that is just a lot. And I, I get it. I get why, you know, Kev, you can feel the, the reality of um the, the gratitude that Kevin has inside of him for for his wife and for the people around him that enabled him to get to where he uh, has been. So pretty pretty neat story. So let's let's uh, dive into what Nicholas has so far. Hey, I got oh, wow. East End, baby. Yeah, East End. My father's a career musician. 50 plus years singing in Cayman on the beach. Blonde haired Calypso singer goes by the Barefoot Man. The Barefoot Man. The Barefoot Man. Oh my God. My, my wife dad. like just like just goes nuts. That's oh my father. Oh <laughs> my so God. My dad, I've always been Barefoot's son. <laughs> so I never wanted to get into music, though I always wrote music. And during COVID, my daughter said, I think I might want to be a musician like Grandpa. And I said, well, let's go make a song. And in the process of doing that, I wrote a whole album. And in that process, he just mentioned Keith Stegall. We met through Keith, who's been a friend of my father's, and we became friends. We hit it off. So, guys, who said I'm going to put two wow. silicon pads on a pick? We have a third partner. There's actually five of us in the business. Yeah. Five, five owners. It's like a herd wow. of ticks in that. <laughs> but we need six to fill the pack. Yeah, we need right. six. <laughs> so he was searching for the best grip and, and came across this nanosuction material. And when they brought it to Kevin and I in the first place, it was, it's a really good grip. And we just went right past that to sticks to your guitar. I buy that it's a better product. Tell us about the sale. Yeah, absolutely. So we've been selling since October of last year, barely eight months. We have a total of $60,000 sales lifetime. We sell a six pack, which is our main product. So that has either one of each of the gauges. We do a thin, medium, and a heavy gauge, or we have a multi-pack, and that's two of each gauge in the multi-pack. What do you sell it for? What does it cost to make? The sharks are gonna like this. It costs $2.44 landed. For 20, six of them. For six of them in that pack, right. $29.95 retail. $15 wow. wholesale. 
And Nicholas, are you making any money? Did you make any money on the sixty thousand? We're expecting this year to have about one hundred and twenty thousand total sales, and we expect anywhere from breaking even to about twenty thousand dollars in profit. We sell primarily on our website and on Amazon. We also have four music shops that we've been able to get as wholesalers so far. And our split this year, we're estimating to be about 85% direct to customers and about 15% wholesale. So, so guys, how big I, do you think this could be? So the entire pick industry, I can tell you, without naming names, one of the biggest manufacturers of guitar picks sells tens and tens and tens of millions of packs of picks a year. So what is an average cost of 50 a pack cents. of picks? 50 cents. 50 cents dollars. So you have to be a committed wow. guitar player. Yeah. No, no. no. I've had a company talk to me about wanting to put it in new guitar players. They love it for the student. Yeah. They love it for the guitar player coming up. You know what my mom hated most of all? Picks in the dryer, picks in the couch, <laughs> the dog eating a pick. So are you guys are like in Guitar Center at all? Have you tried? We tried to reach out to the big box stores, and their response has been, when we get the demand, we'll give you a call. Okay, so. All right, so that is uh, one of the, um, that is a, a disappointing uh thing to hear uh, you know guitar center uh sam ash they i mean they're they're, they're both rel you know huge so it, why would they not want to take a flyer on something that they could easily have a decent markup on have a better product i mean i, I have some I, I have some thoughts on that and i think if i had to guess pure guess uh the people that are making those picks one probably also make the guitar that they're selling and it's like they don't feel like they you know they don't want to step on toes of the manufacturer and then you know any of the back deal backdoor uh deals that they have with them is is all of a sudden it's a it, you know becomes a problem because they're having some other picks that come through so i i think that having if you can get your pick with like the beginner guitars, like you're gonna have somebody for life, right? Like that's what your your goal is. So get get hooked up a core buddy and uh, you know get get uh, some kind of discount deal going on with core buddy, and then you you all of a sudden you have this this movement of over the next you know five, ten, fifteen, twenty years of of people you know players coming through the system that are grow that grow up with like what do you mean your pick doesn't just stick to the the side of the guitar like that's that is awesome um yeah that that is pretty awesome now seventy five thousand percent going back to that for ten percent uh i mean it's it's a bit of a rich ask um i could see a shark wanting to get a lot more but also having three other partners that aren't even there might also kind of scare them away because they they want to make sure they want to know who they're investing with and they're not knowing that by just having uh, these two awesome guys uh, be there. But also, I want to say, I don't really believe in coincidences and having uh, the uh, Nicholas's background with his dad and, and Mark knowing who that is. Like, that's kind of just, come on, what's the, that's a pretty big coincidence. I love your name. Tick pick, the pick that sticks. That's Thank great. You. Thank yes. you so much. Guys, let me let me shortcut. Well, let me finish. Wait, no, hold on, hold on. Honestly, I don't know how big this can be. Yes, right. sir. But as someone who tried to teach themselves guitar, I was sitting up all night teaching myself chords. I see the value of a good pick. So I'll tell you what, I'll make you an offer. You have five partners. I'll be the sixth partner. Seventy-five thousand dollars for sixteen percent. For sixteen percent. Sixteen. Huh? All right. <laughs> I'm a shark. I know you are, man. You're a good guy, too. Yeah, you're a good guy. Yeah. Thank you for the offer, Mark. Can, does anyone else have any other offers? Oh, Five, are you waiting? Four, yeah, I'm not waiting. Not, three, dude. Yeah. Two. Yeah, you got to deal, Mark. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Don't. Good one. We're going to have fun. <laughs> God bless you, man. Guys, thank you all so much. Give us a song. Hold on one second. Hold on one second. Well, hey there, sharks. Let me tell you how I feel. Mark Cuban, we're so happy that we got a deal. Did not see that coming. <laughs> Thought it would be Kevin. Thank you. Congrats, guys. That's crazy, bro. Awesome. I think there would have been a bad taste in my mouth if he tried to just beat us up, and he didn't. His offer was fair for the amount of money we're asking and, you know, where we're at now. He understands yep. we're just getting started, but he sees where we can go. Yeah, no, abs absolutely. Uh, they, they are, you know, they, it was a little bit of a rich all uh, ask. Uh, because of where they're currently at, but they're gonna, 
definitely get there. You got Mr. Wonderful uh, jamming on the guitar here. Oh, oh am I, where am I at here? Oh, here we go. So, yeah, you got Mr. Wonderful jamming on the guitar here. So uh, it's always good to see people, faces, hands playing, uh, you know, showing off the product. Uh, but I, I, mean, I always love to see faces. Here we go with uh, Instagram which is uh good to see so on their website are they still selling it for uh so you get a single matchbook of good of guitar oh, so i guess like a single guitar pick for 10 three for 20 or tw uh, 30 for six which is uh not not i mean I, I don't think that seems bad if you you know think about how many you lose and if you don't lose them uh then you're you're going to be way ahead of the game 20% off your first order uh really really cool to uh to to see them having some kind of offer like that out of the gate for shark tank uh 713 followers over on instagram uh, quite a bit of engagement on some of these posts Facebook, you got 195 likes, 299 followers. Um, not, I mean, not too much, uh, not too much in the way of engagement past the Shark Tank post, but that's as per usual. That's usually what we're seeing over on Facebook for most of these, uh, almost all these companies, really. Uh, 83 subscribers over on YouTube, 19 videos with the most popular video being what is tick pick um 1100 views i wonder i guess i don't know if that's a commercial that or an ad that they used on facebook but that's did that's done pretty well so far or maybe that was on their their home page i thought i saw a video maybe i didn't uh, i thought i saw a video here but over on tick to or uh x.com or twitter or whatever uh just eight followers currently and 1450 followers over on tiktok with uh 2065 likes which is uh not bad for for some you know such a niche kind of product that uh they definitely got to get out there but uh but Nicholas and Kevin, I'd love to have you come on the show for an interview, talk about your Shark Tank experience, talk about your business uh, and how things are going since being on the show. Just drop a comment down below. Like Christopher Rance, who says, I greatly appreciate this channel uh, for expanding my knowledge and providing valuable insights that have contributed significantly to my learning. In addition, Super Joe has helped me identify my target audience, which has enabled me to market my products more effectively to them. I am grateful for the wealth of uh, valuable information that I have received through this channel. Well, thank you very much christopher rance i greatly appreciate you commenting on quite a few of the videos especially just recently you seem like you were coming back through the comments uh which is which is always good uh and and much appreciated i did see somebody i think it was on this comment said something about this being a, a bot account but i don't know a lot of the um the comments that that this uh account had left all seem pretty legit like stuff about the video like so i i don't know so I, I i know what this kind of stuff might come off and sound like uh there's definitely bot accounts out there they're like so and so you'll never believe that this person bill you know billy joe bob thornton was like he, he blew my mind with his crypto and forex knowledge and you gotta reach out to this person and blah 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 like I, I'm not asking for anybody to write any of this stuff. I, I just greatly appreciate people taking their time to come and learn. And, and again, I'm learning too. I don't, I don't know anything about the guitar pick industry, but now I know a little bit more and I will catalog that information for the next video that comes through and try to relate and bring all the pieces together. Anyway, I, I appreciate you being a part of the super community, Christopher. Uh, and I appreciate you watching all the way to the end here. I'll see you in the next video or one over here or over here. Take care. Now, Kobe super.